middle school math teacher making these mistakes when it comes to grading? My name is Kathy Martin, and I'm the creator of the Pre-Algebra Teachers Middle School Math Membership. We are your one-stop shop for everything you need to teach middle school math. As I mentioned before, are you a middle school math teacher making these grading mistakes? Curious to know what they are? Hang on tight, because I'm going to share with you my three best tips when it comes to grading. Here we go. Tip number one. I want you to know it's okay not to grade everything. What I know. Believe me, it's a hard, hard habit to break. Like we as middle school math teachers, we want to grade every single homework problem, every single warm up, every single activity. There is just simply not enough time in the day. And if you are someone who is killing yourself over grading, just know it's okay not to grade everything. Of course, there are certain things that we need to grade, like tests and assessments, but you don't need to grade every single thing. Okay, which leads me into tip number two. Pick and choose the things that you want to grade. For me personally, I don't grade my warm ups or my bell ringers, whatever it is you want to call it. I don't grade them question, you know, every single question. I simply give my students participation points for doing the daily warm up. And we go over them in class and it is up to them to make sure that they get the right answer. When it comes to homework, usually I give, I give about 10 to 15 questions per night on homework. So I will pick between, depending on what it is, I will pick between three and five problems per homework to grade. And I do this simply by looking over the homework, seeing which questions best kind of give me the overview of what that assignment is and pick those. So like maybe I'll pick number one, seven and 13 on Monday night's homework to grade. And that gives me a good idea. If students are getting them right, then I feel like, okay, we can move on. They understand it. If maybe half my students are getting them right and half of them are getting them wrong, then that gives me the idea of, okay, maybe I, this is something I need to go back and reteach, but I don't have to grade every single, all 15 questions to know that I can grade three to five. Usually it's about three questions per page or per homework. And that's enough. And tip number three, if you can, if you can use self grading activities so that you can just simply save time on the grading, your students complete the activities and the system grades for you, then that is truly a win win because then your students are getting the practice and you don't have to grade. And you can just look to see, okay, who is getting less than 70% or less than 65%. And those are the kids I need to look at. Those are the ones that are most important. So let me reach out to them first. And if you need um, some tips on how to create self-grading activities, there's a link right in the description. We also and I would love to personally invite you to come join us inside the pre-algebra teachers middle school math membership, where we have hundreds of principal and digital activities for you, use, for you to use inside your classroom, whether you are teaching face-to-face, -face, whether you are distance learning, whether you, are do, whether you are in a hybrid situation, whether you are using Google Classroom, Schoology, Canvas, whatever LMS you are using, our materials will work for you. And many of our materials are self-grading including our digital task cards, our mix and match math activities, and many, many more. If you'd like to learn more, click the button in the description below so you can check out more about our community. Until next time, bye!